Hey guys, it's me Noah coming at you with another video, except I'm not on our channel, I'm on a different channel with teammate James. Hey guys, uh, in case you didn't know, I'm Noah from Team One Inch, this is James from Team One Inch. We mm -hmm. do deck profiles, Yu-Gi-Oh talks, vlogs, eat a lot of food. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to let James talk about the deck in front of him. Um, today we're playing Gear Gear Cal Curry. Um, it's, one of, it's one of the decks that I've been, tested, that I've been testing for... Since three the deck came out. Yeah, since the deck came out for like probably like four plus four mats right now. Yeah, so, nah, more like ten. It was something like that. So the point is, we put lots of hours and testing into it, and um, I just wanted to showcase it to you guys because um, the deck is I feel like it's still pretty good. Um, it's not it, it won't win you a YCS, but it will bring you a lot of fun in a YCS. So let's get into it. Um, first we got the core of the deck. Three Gear Gear armor. Uh, for the for the people who don't know what this deck does, um, is that Gear Gear armor. Um, when you set it, when you set it, and then when it flips, you get to search a Gear Gear monster from your deck to your hand. So with so with that said, you would normally search either the Gear Gear accelerators. This card allows you to special summon itself if you control a Gear Gear monster on the field, or you or you'll search the Gear Gear arsenal, which this card is like a lone fire, so you tribute itself. And then you search a gear, no, and then you special summon a gear gear monster from your deck to the field. Um, next for the for the last four gear gear monsters, you play um three gear gear MK two, because of the um the trap card gear gear gear, you can special summon um any of these four gear gear um gear gearandos from your deck, and they become level four. So um it helps you make um the the gear the gear guy and X's to search out your other machines to um, make power plays. Or you could just play really passively by looping this card and this card in the Gigi Accelerator from your from your graveyard. Because when this card leaves the field, um, you get to special summon a level three a, a level three Gigiano monster from your from your graveyard. So you would just summon this and just loop it. So that's it for the Gigi monsters. Um, next for the non Gigi monsters, um, you play two gold gadgets and two silver gadgets. Um, these cards are very um, good in this deck because because like if they offer a lot of aggressive plays because when you summon this you can summon you, if you have another silver gadget in hand you can special summon you can normal summon the um, silver gadget no the gold gadget or vice versa and special summon itself and then those effects would trigger off and special summon a level four um, machine monster so if you have the watchdog in hand or if you have a um, Gear Gear, a Gear Gear monster, or yeah, a Gear Gear monster and accelerator. That's literally two XC monsters. And then um, if you have these watchdogs, which I'll show you, the watchdogs, um, you can create a lot of power plays with um with their Barados and everything else into the deck because they special summon these or this or this um the category strategist, the level three. So you can make um the Berets and the Barados, and then, and you can put like, over eight thousand plus damage on board, right? It's nine something. Yeah, it's like nine something. So, so the point is, you um this deck can either play really passively, or it can explode on your opponent at any at any point of the game if you have the uh, proper combo pieces for it. Um, to round to round off the monsters, we have one Birdman. Um, the Birdman is is amazing in the deck because um if you have um accelerator and a Gear Gear monster on the field, you can bounce the accelerator, uh, and special summon special summon the accelerator again. So literally. All you really need is um, either two Gear Gear monsters, one being Accelerator, and then the other one being whatever you want it to be in a Birdman, and you can and you can just make um, two Synchros and a Stardust, yeah, on board, and then that's usually either exactly game or over a thousand or or a thousand over eight thousand for a game. So that's it for the monsters. Um, it's a very simple lineup. Everything does um, does its own thing to search each other out. Um, next for the spells, we have two Twin Twisters because um, <clears throat> back row, you really don't like back row in this deck because if your opponent stops one of your normal summons or disrupts your plays, you have to wait until next turn to explode on your opponent. Or you could, or um, or you can't play as passively as you want. So that's why the Twin Twisters are in here. Um, next, we have two Iron Calls. Um, this card's really broken in the deck. Um, because it acts like a monster, it, it is a monster reborn if you control a machine, and every card in your deck is a machine. So, so like this card is almost always like ninety percent 
of the time is always live. So, so like, it offers a lot of um, synchro plays or a lot of XC plays because if the monsters are, are in your graveyard that, are, that can contribute to your combo, you can, you can extend your combo. Um, same thing with the instant fusions. Um, it just brings back more monsters to make more XCs. And it's great during late game because um, this deck is a really grindy deck too. It, if you choose to make it grindy. And the rest of the spells are just very simple um, to kill your opponent. Um, two board wipes for ABCs. And then um, limiter removal for stuff that can't be destroyed by battle. So, so you would just use Barreto's effect, switch it to attack mode, and just start swinging at it. And then, um, and then while you're swinging, just activate this. And there should be like 16,000 plus damage on board. Um, that's it for the, most, uh, well, for the spells. There's not a lot of spells needed. Um, next, for the traps, we have three gear gear gear. Um, the special summon the three gear gear, the four gear gear Yanos from your deck, and they become level fours. And that's really, that's really about it, what they do. Um, next, I don't, I don't see a lot of people playing this, but I play three Abaku. Because, um, a lot of things are, because you're, because like now these days, Yu-Gi-Oh, people just bring out a bunch of big monsters and try to kill you. So like, if you can just, um, stall out a turn, or um or if they try to swing into your Gyagia armors, you can just Wapaku them, your Gyagia armor will your Gyagia armor will still flip and you'll still get to search and then your Gyagia armor will live. So you can just explode on them on them on them next turn. So that's really good. Um next for like more defensive traps, we just have three two storm storming mirror force. Um it's just better than the um, the other the normal mirror force. Because um, this brings them to their hand, and normally this thing, like things now these days, they're they're floaters. So like if you send them to the graveyard, it's just not as good. So that's why we play two of these. Next for the one of traps, we play one trap stun, um, because honestly, traps is like your worst enemy in for this deck. So you would just want to activate this card before you do anything, so they can't solemn strike you, solemn warning, or vanity's emptiness because they can't activate the traps. So that's really good. And then um, more board wipe. Um, this because I played with Phrasia. And um, when you flick a trap hole your opponent, um, they cannot they cannot reflip their stuff. So their names, so like they're no longer names. They're, they're really just blank on the board. So that's really good. And um, next we play two Solemns and a Vanity's Emptiness because of the Floodgate. And it's a blowout against most decks. Next for an extra deck, um, we play two Gyrgya, well, Gyr Gyrgya and X's, because um, it's literally just searching, and um, you can play really passively with this with this deck um, by just looping the Gyrgyanos, like I said earlier. So that's really good. Um, we play the Utopia package, because um, for things that you can't get over, but and it's just more damage on board if you need it. Um, Rephrasia for the for for you going first. And you you can just make this really easily, and then just make um put this and sit on this with five other back rows, and then just make um what's it called? Flicky trap hole. Um, a best dweller for mermails and sometimes ABCs depending what situation, and BA. This this is just a really good card. Um, you can just spin things back into the deck. Um, Daikusto Emerald just to recycle things because you go through your resources really quickly depending how you play the deck. Um, for this is literally just for um, really grindy decks and BA because um, I heard it make it makes them mi it makes them miss timing, so that's why it's in there. Um, Scrap Dragon for game, Stardust Dragon to make the boards so where you can just make um, two Burrito and a Stardust Dragon on board. Um, that's it for the level eights. And then for the and then for the rest, <clears throat> we have we play two burrito one no two burry one burrito, um because you you're never really gonna make more than one of these and you're most likely gonna make two of these because um because literally the burman in the in the level four is a is a seven so you can literally just make this and this special summons a level four and the level four will make this and then this will special summon a level another level four and then you just make one of these so that's just a lot of damage on board and that's and literally that's like the, that's the only that's one of the power plays in the deck and then the last we just play Norden for the instant fusion and literally that's it for the deck uh james if you had to give mvp to one card in the extra deck and then one card in the main deck what would it be 
um, in the main deck, it'll have to be Wabaku. Because, literally, this card, um, it, it's, it could act as defensive and offensive because um, you can literally just set this and then um, to, it's, it's literally just to set up your place for, with your armor and um, and everything that, and then whatever you need to set up your place with. And then for the extra deck, hmm. Honestly, it will have to be this thing itself because um because this thing just searches you stuff and you and this card allows you to play passively or aggressively so it's just the best of both worlds and it, and it loops so and it's a floater. Do you got anything else to say? Um, nothing, nothing much. It's just that um this thing is just really fun to play. Like, I don't know. That's it. Uh, yet again, we want to thank Slim so much for letting us appear on our channel on his channel. Go and check out our channel, which will probably go down in the description. Uh, remember to check out Slim's channel, remember to subscribe to both, click the bell, remember to like, comment, and, uh, and we'll see you next week.